Good morning and happy Saturday, you guys. I was just editing the video and taking care of some stuff on the old internet. I've also been watching some stand-up comedy. This guy, I just started watching him. His name is Wyatt Cenac. Wyatt Cenac, I think is his name. Um, he's pretty funny so far. These guys are all like hipster people who like live in Brooklyn and I don't, I can't relate to a lot of the stuff that they are uh, making jokes about, but it's pretty funny, I guess. I'm not as privileged as these people are, so <laughs> they're like making jokes about nannies and like growing up rich, and I'm like, I guess that's funny. I don't know. I didn't have either of those things, but uh, but yeah, so I just finished watching Donald Glover's special called Weirdo, and that was good. Like, it's very inappropriate and super offensive but super, super, super funny. So if you guys have Netflix and you are of the age that you can watch something that has lots of bad language in it, um, then you should watch that because it's really funny. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I'm actually just about to whiten my teeth while I watch this. I've been waiting for it to only have half an hour left because that's how I'm gonna time myself to whiten my teeth. <laughs> Is it when the show's over, then my teeth are done being whitened? So. That's my plan. That's that's how I adult. But uh, but yeah, Tim should be home soon, and then we're gonna head over to Epcot for a little bit and meet up with some friends. And then after that, we're gonna head over to Universal to meet up with some other friends. So it uh, should be a pretty exciting day all in all, but I'm off to whiten my teeth now, so wish me luck. We're heading into Epcot. Check out this awesome looking sunset. <laughs> oh, Look at it. There trying so hard to get a picture of this. Disney World, well, Epcot. You know what my favorite thing is? Um, our friend Cameron, he calls it Dasney Wild. <laughs> and I really like that. Dasney Wild? I really like it a lot. Cause it's like, you know Wario? Yeah. It kind of sounds like that. It's like Dasney Wild. <laughs> okay. From now on, we shall call it Disney Wild. Forever. Forever. <laughs> but not forever, but forever. <laughs> um, here's our dilemma is there's a tram back there. You can see that. It's like by where we parked, Create 53. That's where we parked. Uh, usually we're like, we should get on the tram because it'll be quicker. It's never quicker. But watch this. I'm like, it's not going to be quicker. We're going to walk and we'll get there faster. But today, tram's going to go faster. Bet me money. Yes. Epcot. The land of tomorrow today. We beat the tram, guys. Sorry, I wasn't looking and I ran into Jen. But we're almost there and the tram still hasn't left yet. Ooh. Oh no, watch out for those trees. Jen, Jen almost lost her ears because she uh, ran into a tree. Be so, why do you, like, point, what are you looking at? I don't know. We're at the bag check and the tram hasn't left yet. This was a good idea. We're walking from now on. Who put this here? Gosh, look who it is. It's, look who it is. It's that jerk and flower. Flower's you like... gotta stop waking people up. Oh. And then Flower's like, I'm just trying to hibernate. Trying to think of witty things to say, but I have to pee so bad that I can't. Also, it smells really good out here. What is that? I thought it smelled like urine. Oh, I thought it smelled like flowers. Is that what flowers smell like? Urine. Look guys, the fountain. It's the big finale. decorations what's up with this one spot on the tree that's like not as brightly lit as all the rest I think it's oh stripes. no the white is out in that one section oh is it oh i get it okay <laughs> monorail uh like uh salmon no i think it's just pink but the tree looks pretty awesome also look at these poinsettia bushes poinsettia i think that's Duffy. Big tree. Look guys, it's Santa Duffy. He's Duffy's fun, he's like dancing. I think he knows them. Maybe. I think that's why he's interacting that way. <laughs> Strange occurrence, uh, I've seen like six people wearing a Captain America shirt. Just like the shield, you know what I mean? I almost wore mine today. Didn't. 
Why didn't you? But because apparently six people are wearing it here today. I had a, a, a what is that called? Like intuition. Yeah. Oh, and it worked out. Work. Yeah, see, look, they're wearing them. That was like seven and eight. I'm glad I'm. You're good like, at counting. What? Yeah. Yeah. Here's your sunset from World Showcase. I feel like dusk is the best time to come out to Disney because everything is just lighting enough that it looks cool and it's well lit. There's a Christmas tree and it's all decorated and there are presents underneath for everyone. Ringy dingy, go crazy, go crazy, make a glass of noise. <laughs> Good, yeah! kids open up their presents on Christmas Eve, they still get up early on Christmas Day. Some people attend church services, but then the rest of the day spend at home quietly, Ariella, with the family, all right? <laughs> but we're not done yet, no, 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 because then the next day, December 26th, is our second Christmas Day, and that's the day for parties and visiting friends and ringing bells, but Ariella, don't you even think about oh, it. Oh, 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 no, what to do, what to do? Secret's almost at the end of her story, and at the end of her wits, and she still doesn't see me. Say, I'm going to need all of your help. On the count of three, can we all say boop together? Ready? One, two, three. Hey, so now you all know how to celebrate the holidays on Norway's farms, and I'm so sorry to burst your bubble on this whole gnome thing, but he does not exist. See, they're over there. Uh, not now, Yulin is off. Yulin is in. You're him. Yeah. It's him. you all, honorary mischief makers for the day. Except for you, you were very bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. Well, friends, I must return to the hayloft to prepare for the big day. But before I go, remember to uphold the values of Christmas and to keep them in your heart throughout the year. And you listen, let's show these lovely sisters, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy to the la de loo. A Merry Christmas season is good for me and you. Good year. Yeah. Very, Very good. good. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for coming, Thank everybody. So and learning a little bit about how we celebrate Christmas in Norway. I guess here's a better sunset shot over top of World Showcase. I don't know if this is World Showcase. What do you call this, this uh, lagoon here? Because I don't know. We run into Mexico. She's painting. Look at how dang big that Christmas tree is compared to the ball. I'm like looking across the lagoon at it. You can still see it. It's big. I know it's a little bit dark, but this is the line to get into the candlelight processional to see Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. She's the host tonight. So I'm sorry, this is the candlelight processional that's happening right now, but those are the people waiting for the next one.
and opening their treasures. They offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and love. This is the way I celebrate Mabruk El Ayyid, which means happy holidays. And I also greet you, Marhaba, welcome to Morocco. My name is Farah El Amin. It's fun to celebrate the holidays with music and stories too. I should know because I am a storyteller and some of my favorite stories are about the holidays and celebrations all over Morocco. And here's why. Celebrations, they are the spice in our lives, huh? And who doesn't like a little spice? So come, join me, don't be shy. Come and hear my stories. You see, from January to December, somewhere in Morocco, there is a Mosul. This is how we say holiday, celebration, or festival is going on. I'm pretty sure that lady just said that from January to December, there's a celebration going on at some point. It's like, at one point in the year, there will be a celebration. Yes? The tree looks a lot better from this side. There's no missing lights on it. Oh, okay, so wait, we're, we're at the tree at uh, Epcot. The leaning, and Jeff, the leaning tree. And Turkey Leg Jeff here taught me a secret handshake. Do you guys want to learn a secret handshake? I bet you do. Here it goes. Look at how it was. Alright, we are on our way out of Epcot right now because we're going to meet uh, Brian from Orlando United at Cowfish. Heck yeah. There's a better view of these topiaries. This is Goofy. Um, he looks like he's ice skating and Donald, who looks like he's getting ready to put on his ice skates maybe? The fountain looks way awesome at night. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says Happy Holidays on the monorail station. I always feel like such like a, I don't know, like a cool dude when I like make fast passes, but don't use any of them. Yeah, didn't use any of them today. And now we're at Universal, King Kong 511. That's where we parked. Everybody's here like dressed up and ready to go out. We're just like wearing our magic bands still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought for sure you were going to forget to take off your ears. No, the guy next to me looked at me weird and I was like, oh, let me take those off. City Walk's pretty crazy on a Saturday night. If I think of Red Coconut Club, I certainly think of whatever that noise is. <laughs> Going to Cowfish. I got the CBCLT this time. It's pretty ridiculous. Right, the jalapeno popper. Burger. Then you have her boss roll again. Yeah. Right, yeah, no, they usually do the rules. You have a buffalo too. Ten people, you have to say, you have to get small. We're leaving uh, Cowfish at like 11 at night, and it's crazy out here. It's a party. Totally a different crowd on a Saturday night at City Walk. The heck is going on? They are the cheerleaders. Lights are too bright. We're back home now. Um, it's really late. i got to be up at 4. So I'm going to go to bed. I had a good time today. It was fun. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.